Hey guys, we are going to add an improper fraction and a mixed number, okay? This is an improper fraction because the top is bigger than the bottom, which apparently is improper, okay? But actually, before I add these, I'm going to change my mixed number into an improper fraction. So we're actually going to be adding two improper fractions, okay? So to change this into an improper fraction, I will link some more examples in the corner if you need them. But all I do is I take my denominator and I multiply it by the big number. So six times five gives me 30. And then I add the numerator, so 35, okay? So we're gonna have 35 as my new numerator of my improper fraction. And the bottom is still six. And we are still adding that to nine fourths, okay? Now, when I add fractions, the bad news is the denominators have to be the same in order to add these, okay? If you want to know what happens if we don't get them the same, I'll link a video in the corner, okay? So what I ask myself is, what is the smallest number that four and six both go into? Fancy word for that is the least common multiple. But the what is the lowest number they both go into? And that happens to be 12, okay? So what I want is two fractions with 12 as their denominators that are equal to these fractions, okay? So what did I do to four to get it to be a 12? Well, I would multiply it by three, right? But I can't just go multiplying by three wherever I want because that would change my fraction. But what I can do is multiply by three over three. Why can I do that? Because three over three simplifies down to one. So I'm really just multiplying by one. It's just a weird looking one. Okay. So I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value. Okay. So I go ahead and multiply across three times nine gives me 27. And three times four gives me that 12. Okay. So nine fourths and 27 twelfths are the same fraction. This one's just simplified down more. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and change our other fraction. What do I need to do to six to get it to be a 12? Well, I'm gonna multiply by two. And just like over here, I need to multiply by two over two, okay? All right, so 35 times two gives me 70. And six times two gives me that 12, okay? Now, when I add fractions, my denominator stays the same. That's why they needed to be the same, right? And then 27 plus 70 gives me 97, okay? So 97 twelfths is my answer. But a lot of times we like to turn it back into a mixed number because 97 twelfths doesn't mean much to me. I can't really picture that. <laughs> But if I can get it back to a mixed number, it can be a lot easier to kind of picture. So what I ask myself is how many times does 12 go into 97? And I know that 12 times 8 is 96, right? So it goes in 8 times. But 8 times 12 is 96, not 97. So there's one left over. And my denominator is still 12. Okay, so eight and one twelfth, that's a bit easier to picture what that is than 97 twelfths, right? Okay, hopefully this made sense. If it helped you, if you can hit the like button, that would be awesome. Um, but hopefully this made sense. Thanks, bye.